Hello, so this is going to be a video trying to answer a question I get a lot, and it's do particle filters expire? Now, officially, yes, they expire like all filters. As you can see, this one's dated until 2027. I bought it last year, so it had a 10-year manufacturer's sort of guarantee date on it. Now, there's lots of factors of particle filters, because obviously, the charcoal filter, the adsorption filter for vapours in a mask, uh, those filters tend to not expire, um, you know, well, Particle filters obviously expire much slower. Those filters tend to expire, you know, once open because, you know, the charcoal will start absorbing things and they will always expire eventually anyway. You can, you know, if you want to find this out, you can do it as a fact. Buy lots of old properly sealed surplus filters from 40 odd years ago, open them and test them with uh, banana oil, and you'll find that lots of them won't pass the test or lots of them will slightly mask the smell but not, you know, fully stop it coming through. The reason being obviously that the charcoal can expire and even over time lots of sealed filters the seals on them aren't actually good enough to properly um, you know prevent any air getting in so it's getting rid of 99.9% .9 of the air you know from going in but eventually even a sealed filter is going to have the charcoal absorb things some of the impregnated chemicals into the charcoal are just going to sort of wear out or whatever else but particulate filters are where it's sort of more interesting because particle filters Obviously, if you know they work, they don't actually um, use any sort of chemical operation or whatever to do anything. They catch things in it, and how it works is particle filters obviously have very, very small holes in them. The idea is that dusts and frets like that can't get through it, but actually I can. Now, I always get asked this, why can you not have a 100% efficient particle filter? The reason being because if you had a 100% efficient particle filter, nothing would get through it and you'd suffocate to death. That's why they're 99 point something. Um, they actually call them P100 filters in, the Ameri in America, but P3 is actually the better word, because P100 implies it stops 100% of particles when it doesn't, because they have P95, I think it's then like P97 and P100, um, which is basically P1, P2 and P3, but you can't have a P100 filter, because if you did, you wouldn't be able to breathe through it. You might as well just, you know, tie something over your head. So, here's the interesting thing. So you can actually see on there that it says P3 there, it also says P1 on one side, but it's definitely P3. It says P3 there as well. So, as I was saying, these filters work by basically catching stuff. And you can see what the filter looks like there. It's basically a HEPA filter, high efficiency particulate air filter, which is designed in such a way that stuff gets caught on it. But these don't expire in the traditional sense of there's something in the filter that expires or runs out. Now, if a uh, particle filter fails, it will fail for two reasons. The most common reason is it catches too much dust or smoke or whatever, and that sticks to the front of the filter. These actually become more efficient the more they get stuck to them, because the more stuff on the front, the more surface area at the front, the harder it is for stuff to get sucked through. So, the more stuff that gets stuck on it, the more efficient it gets, but unfortunately, once too much stuff stuck on there, you won't be able to breathe through it because it will totally clog, so you'll be barely getting any airflow through the filter or you'll get no airflow through. So that's when people normally say these expire, what they mean by that is that they're fully used up, they're fully clogged. Now the other way it can happen is that you can have one fail, is you can actually have a rip in the filter. Now I've had a few people obviously talk to me about this because they said I bought a brand new particle filter but I'm getting dust coming into the mask. If your mask's air tight and you've got a particle filter on it, but you're still getting dust in, it means you've not bought an efficient enough particle filter, but if it's a P3 one, and it's just regular dust, it means that there's a rip in the filter, because air follows the path of least resistance. If this paper inside has a rip in it, or a hole in it, all that air sucking through will just flow through that hole, and obviously stuff will come into the mask. So, for that reason, obviously, a ripped particle filter does not work. So, about expiry, do they expire on their own, no natural cause? So if I had a filter like this, obviously you don't really need to plug up particle filters because there's very little dust that's going to get onto them when they're just sitting flat on the surface. Do they um, <clears throat> expire on their own use? Because you said there is an expiration date on this. And the answer is kind of, because basically what can happen with this is obviously there's glues inside holding the particle filter into the plastic case of the filter. Over time those glues can run out you know, and fall apart and then the filter can fall apart. Most of these are made with paper or fiberglass or materials like that. Now, I'm sure you know this, if this sort of material keeps getting wet, especially if it gets too wet, it can go soggy and fall apart. And if you're in a humid environment, I imagine over time lots of sort of water, moisture in the air will soak into this and eventually destroy it. So, 
there are lots of factors, and of course, I'm sure you know, with everything, over time, everything breaks down regardless of what it is. So, just because it's fine when you get out the pack, it doesn't mean it lasts forever. Now, particle filters last absolutely ages. To give you some idea, most particle filters, even if they're in 20 or 30 odd year old filters, should still work. Um, obviously, they're not guaranteed to, and as people have said, they've sometimes bought brand new ones, had dust come into the mask, which means there's a flaw in your particle filter. So, it's never 100% guaranteed to work in the first place. So, you're kind of in a situation where over time, like everything, the more time that goes on, the less reliable it's going to get. That pretty much applies to anything in the world. You know, there's very few things that get more reliable the more time that goes past this, because more parts can fail. Now, a particle filter is very simple. I said it's just a case with a heap of filter in it. However, you know, it's still a particle filter, and it doesn't, you know, it can't resist the powers of time. Now, if this gets knocked around, if you drop it, whatever else, you know, lots of factors can play a part in wearing out. But... To answer the question, do particle filters expire? In theory, yes. In reality, no. It's only going to be if you fully use them up or they're damaged, where I think you'd actually have a problem. Now, as I said, this is guaranteed for 10 years, and it was just came in wrapped in plastic, and I think there was even a hole in the plastic when I got it. So, you know, particle filters, like I was saying, technically they don't expire, but they technically do. Um, but for the most part, I have much less gripe about using an outdated particle filter than I would with a charcoal filter. And as I said, there's lots of reasons why charcoal filters expire. The only people I've seen claiming that charcoal filters don't expire are the people trying to sell you out of date ones. That should, you know, come across as obvious why you wouldn't trust them. Every single company I've seen with, like, standards, you know, enforcer, charcoal filters must be within a certain date, and it depends on the brand of the filter. But there's probably a reason the manufacturers all put expiration dates on them and militaries and companies, you know, and industries are all very, you know, concerned about using those filters up before um, the expiration date. Because think of all the lawsuits you'd have on your hand if somebody, you know, had an out-of-date filter, was issued with it, died because of that out-of-date filter, and then it comes back to you. So, on a, and this is the way I look at it, with all the stuff, you can now and again get filters at very reasonable prices that are in date. Um, that are very good quality filters. So, do you really want to risk your life on something out of date? I think most people would say no, not when your life's at risk. For nuisance, dust, and other things, sure, whatever. But with lots of these things, why risk your life on it? So, yeah, if you can buy a brand new particle filter for about five pounds with a ten-year date on it, just do that, like I did. Um, no reason, you know, to cheap out and buy a forty-year-old falling-apart filter because it was cheaper. Is your life really worth that little?